All right, guys, we're back. More Banner Saga, continuing the the series here. Um, I, I I enjoy this game. It it makes you think a little bit. Uh, I, I I know in in Gwen a lot of times I just kind of like throw the cards out there and I don't read. But when it comes to like a board state type game, you you really have to like plan your moves. You got to be three moves ahead basically. But uh, I'm enjoying it, so uh, I hope you guys are too. Um, let's get back into the story though. There they are. Gods be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's window onto the bay. A fleet of long ships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. Coin flip. Ubin. One banner I know well. Vogren. Next for Varl kingship. Last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, it's important, guests. See what I got to deal with all day long. Uh, things make a little more sense. You hope I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? Sure, what's up, Eric? You lived in the last battle. If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and the vanguards hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go and greet the new arrivals down at the docks. We getting people to join our party? Oh shit! Oh, the docks. Okay, so we go here. Vogren. A familiar varl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version trampling the halls of Grofheim, abundant in purpose. Gods! Ubin! You're looking ancient. Damn, just not what's up. Just you look old as hell. Thanks, dude. Comes with being old. And if there is Vogren, there must be Hawken? Hoken? There must be. Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old ox, yox. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Damn, this dude just shows up and just starts ripping on me, you know, and I, I, I wouldn't, I'd just, let's just start fighting this dude. Joran demands it. I'll take that over lingering to, in, lingering to death in Grofheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Abarang, in fact. And glad for it. Hawken motions to the other ships in the bay, sails still fluttering. Golden wolfhead emblazoned on red, the king of men, or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Luden? Don't you think... Sc Skirvenir? I don't know what that is. We visit his cap capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hawken has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hawken. Then you're going to Grofheim? I have a distinct feeling I'm, I've am i finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. He's like, let's, let's, let's meet up, man. Let's... I would, this dude just talked all this shit on you and you're going to roll with him? I'd be like, nah, man, I'm cool. We should give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week away, but uh, let's just be done. 
Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where's Mogger? Hawken. Have him find a place to put the warriors. I'm heading up. Heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Mogger. See you in the morning, Skavner. Skavner. <laughs> I'll be along. The young prince of men enables, aim, ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Luden looks for all the world. The sort of boy who grew up pulling his, pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you'd think. So we go to the great hero. Weariness suddenly settles in and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men at the great hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Varen's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Joachim or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. So it gives you options here. You can either kick it with your dude or go see the the spoiled brat I think I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it with my dudes man I don't I, I don't like the sound of this guy Skevner you find Hawken in a mead house surrounded by other Varl Sh Strand is no longer a stranger to Varl but rarely sees this many Hawken waves you over we went straight for Flagon. Vagrin's the one who agreed to pass up a drink. It I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. See, I'm 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 down with my people, man. Screw these upper class people. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me the most trouble. No surprise. What this time? When I got here, the Great Hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. This guy's like the repo man. Ha! Humans. I guess if only lived as long as you... As an ox fart, you might be desperate to make something of yourself, too. It's not late to start trying, Hawkin. Hawkins slips a low chuckle. Any Varl could recount his deeds. Known for he is for cutting a swath through dredge at Vogren's side in the Second War and regularly since then. See, he's your dude, man. Don't don't go drinking with some snotty prick when you can kick it with your dudes. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the mead house becomes overbearing and then step back into the cool air outside. Oh, now you talk to the prince. Or do we go to the great hall? Let's go see what this dude has to say. Is this the right place? You find the prince at the inn, guards blank at the building, including a sharp-eyed Varl who must be working for Luden. A woman in red eventually waves you over and suddenly stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Luden. Yes, you're with Vagrin. I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Vagrin a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grofheim with my guards. Luden looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? I work for the king, carrying ties to the capital. We, we crossed by chance. Oh, a tax collector? Fine company. What do you want? 
just introduce yourself. I hope to learn more about you. I have a habit of recording history. I thought we might talk about your visit. Uh, let's just introduce ourselves. You collect taxes for the Varl territories? A true pleasure. Yes. An awkward awkwardness hangs in the air like thick fog. You take the opportunity to depart. Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> oh, minus one supplies. At dawn, you're awoken by a delivery of goods. Minus, at least you think it's dawn. Damn, hard to tell with the sun that never moves. The governor's crest adorns the supply the leathers. All there, just as promised. To your mild surprise, you wonder if Eric had anything to do with it. 20 renown, we got some, some bucks. Some some banner bucks. Your guards take the treasure wagon down to the gates. Vogren is already there, already here. A while later, Luden and his men appear groggy and disheveled. They got crocked yesterday. Mogren steps forward, Vogren's quarter quartermaster. If you recall correctly, in charge of his unwieldy entourage of warriors you know him only in passing he asks if you are ready to depart we are ready to go you follow Margaret and join the others usually the small doors set in the gates would be enough to push to enter or leave the city but the town guards have been told to push them open entirely they mutter things under their breath what are that are best not heard perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd but there's nothing of the sort, just frustrated, tired people. It summarizes Strand. Well, as a whole, you think. Here we go. Leaving Strand. Bye, Strand. <laughs> some Monty Parthon. I gotta get some coconuts. Oh, shit. Moral decline? Where are we going? The caravan stops for the day. A gift, says Mogra. Cracking open mead cast from our gracious friend, the governor of Strand. Hours pass with ruckus laughter as the mead is passed throughout camp. Drink a little, drink a lot. Toast to Wagner. Um... It's Toast to Wagner. He's our dude. You raise your drink, toasting the alliance between man and Varl. The others join in. Luden's expression is like a stone wall, but the others laugh at your exaggeration. Eventually, you sit back beside Wagner. Um, let's go. Let's chat with Wagner. Thanks for the speech, Slurls Wagner. I forgot that guy was a dick. I wouldn't have toasted him. <laughs> Looks like you didn't have to miss out after all. Thanks to Mogger. I thought the damned governor would never shut up. Did he give you the history of his entire family? No, I didn't listen to that prick. He tried. Then he asked me to clean up his messes from your benefit, turns out. For your benefit. I'd have given him, given the job to you too. Gods, there's no joy in politics. Speaking of what happens after this business with Luden, hopefully the boy brings back to Arborang on his own, and I can take out some frustration on Dredge or something. Starting to sound like Hawken. You don't like the life of a diplomat? <laughs> Don't you miss the fight, Ubin? You down your mead instead of replying. Vogren slouches and shakes his head. There's no great joy in killing Dredge, but this, pretty sure this nonsense is some scheme between two kings to force some kind of lineage. Used to be warriors would follow you from what you'd, you'd done. Isn't that why they follow you now? Is it? Or is it because I'm the next in line? 
These lines are getting muddy, old Varl. They've always been muddied, Vargrel. Vargren. Vargren stares into the campfire, lost in thought. You leave him to it. He's, I guess he's just a ball buster. Maybe he's, he's, he's all right. You rise grog groggily the campsite. A casualty of merriment. Mogger is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Luden stalking your direction. He steps, sidesteps sleeping bodies. Better wake up, you nudge Vogren. You're needed. Ah, it's Luden. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Vogren releases a caged yawn and receives a hard eyed stare in return. How long to Grofheim? Ha! You're only two days out of Strand. You know, come, I'll show you on the map. I turned into a caveman there for a second. Oh, they're going to show us a map now. So this is where we're at. This is the map. You can explore it by dragging the mouse. We got to go all the way up there. The Burza Pass. <laughs> Damn stones. The Long Reach. Stonehorn. Silverstone. Tell me we go all the way up here. Nasher, Grinder, Biter. Greyhorn. Location of your caravan is indicated here by Yubin's icon. The world map is covered with many locations and holds much lore. You can explore the map by at any time by clicking the locations for more information. That's really cool. Interactive map gives you the, the lowdown on what's going on in, in town. So how do you leave? Ah. That's really cool. Vogren, we head north, then east past the forts. Grofheim, Grofheim's far from Strand, going to be a long march. You should have drank last night, Luden. Why not? Take the ships to Skurskmead? <laughs> Sounds like something off of a... Uh, oh shoot, I forget the name of that show with Squizgard. What's the point of marching? The Silverstone Bay is called for that reason. Called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It would tear up long ships. Too bad though, we could have shown you all the wonders of Skyskershka Mishmid. A half sunken city crawling with dredge, Prince. Dredge and glaciers. You like glaciers? You like games? Luden exhales through his nose, a poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent, flaps, and he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Vogren. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend. You'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off to. Damn, he's that bad? Luden's got a shorter wick than Hawken. Thanks, Vogren. Let's get moving. Another half day to Bertafell, if we're lucky. Camp. Camp is where you manage your caravan during travel. You can enter camp at any time by tapping the camp button on the travel HUD. While at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your allies or equip items in the hero's tent. You can pass time by using the rest tent. Resting will improve the caravan's morale. High morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training tent will allow you to safely try out any character in a mock battle. Tap leave at the bottom of the camp site when you're ready to get back on the road. So there's leave. Click the hero's tent. Okay.
Click on a unit, view stats, and promote rank. Click the ability to learn about its abilities. Sundering Impact. Look at these animations, man. How awesome are they? Chopping wood. People's more like it. I have no points here, though. Or can I spend points? Heavy impact. All right. Hacken got no kills. Mauger, no kills. Slacker. Gunnuff. Gunnuff's got two. Uh, we could promote him now. Takes five or now, and we'll do it. We got two points available. Uh, this guy's just a hammer, man. I mean, 15. I think we just, uh, what's this? Yep, I got you. This unit has points available to spend improving stats. Let's do one of these, and he's only got three willpower. Maybe give him some more willpower. I don't know, 15 so high. I mean, he's just smoking fools there. I think we go with... Uh, what is this stat? I think we go with uh, one of each. He's like our haymaker, though, man. He's like our cleanup batter. I think we'd go with one of these. And one of these. We'll give him willpower. Hakan. Luden. I'm Luden. Where's our dude Eric? We can't upgrade Eric. Eric got promoted. What are these twos? What's that? I don't know what that means. So that's our roster here. Turn order, okay. So we're good there. We, we promoted Gunnoff. My dog's name's Gunner, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we don't think we need to go to training. They said only rest when you need to, so let's just leave. Where fell? Even the name means bad weather, where frozen wind sweeps in from the bay. They tend livestock, but most are just man driven from strand with nowhere else to go. Why else would anyone stay? We won't stop long. I like these big old yaks they got. By Hadberg. That's a lot of varl for some missing castle. From some missing castle. What? A couple days back, sent word to Strand about the cattle. Didn't expect an army. He looks pleased with himself until it sinks in that you aren't here to, on his behalf. Where have your cattle gone? Wouldn't know. My boy seen men up the hills carrying them away. What? Who carries away cattle? Don't know many men who can hoist a whole cow by themselves. <laughs> exactly. Scaffling's out there, maybe? Could they have Varl working for them? Not from the governor told me. I'm going to take a look around and get camp set up. The peasant spits, his eyes anxiously darting about as the caravan sets up tents. 
Sounds like he's kind of pissed we're here. We'll be here no more than a day. There's silver for any food you've got. For hundreds of varl? Are you serious? Whatever you're willing to sell. You thinking of squatting? Not enough room for a couple hunters here. Forget hundreds of... Shut up here, that. Where's Luden? It's faint. Sounds like fighting and something else. Hawken takes off. Alright. So Luden's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Clicking any tile will automatically make a waypath, but you can also set up waypoints. Click once you make a waypoint. Select the next waypoint. This is often useful when you need to avoid certain tiles. So there's probably fire on the ground. Spearmen can attack diagonally and up to two tiles away. Click the top right banner to compare your stats with the enemies. 15, 16. Armor blocks attacks on strength for each enemy armor higher than your strength. There's a 10% chance that the attack will be deflected. Notice the chance to hit shown above the attack button. Attack this enemy's strength. Deflect. Deflect attacks do not damage. From here on out you will fail catastrophically if you don't break armor. Damaging both strength and armor is equally important. Haymaker. <laughs> So he just hit this dude for 10. And I only have 7 armor on this guy. So. I think we move here. We attack. We attack his armor. We just keep pinging it down. This guy moves forward. All right, so where can he move to? Currently not that far. Let's move, let's get the heck away from this guy. Cause he's gonna, he's gonna gun for us. I could tell right now. He could still reach us there. Let's. Let's hang back here, because he's going to mess us up. Holy cow, he just hit us for seven. Let's move this guy up here. Attack. Knock his armor down. This guy should only hit me for like one. I'm all, I'm dead. Next turn, I'm dead. Uh, let's uh, sundering impact. Okay, so he couldn't hit us. move back up and turn he's dead oh he's not dead yet awesome I think we go here we bring the pain on this guy So he's dead. Now we can move in here. We can tempest everything, pretty much. Well, two guys. <laughs> he's definitely gonna go after us. I can only tempest once, though. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's take this guy out. So this guy's gonna start calling for people, it looks like. 
Can I? I can kill him in one turn. Let's just do that. He got lit up. All right. Shoot. I can't attack him. Oh, can I? No. End turn. That was a good move by his part. He's dead, though. I kept my haymaker alive. Yeah, he was trying to call some reinforcements. Wasn't having it. Hacken got injured, though. Rip. Continue. You're trying to get yourself killed, Luden. What are you doing? I was trying, finding a, trying to get a shot, shot in, be, in between the plates. What? You've never seen a dredge before, boy? What kind of idiot? Break their armor first, I guess. Where did they come from? They didn't even, they didn't even see them. They were just there. Hacken goes down to where Vogren lies face down. The future Varl King lies motionless aside from the spreading pool of blood. Oh, they killed Vogren. That's who was laying there. Vogren's dead. Way to go, dude. I knew I didn't like Luden. Cut with the keen edge sword. Chapter 2. Hey, I'm going to end it here, though, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, it should pick us up right here where we're leaving off. Man, we've got to travel so far. Oh my god. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.